is uniquely suited against X amount of competitors, and by the way, the team that I've got to build this product in this large market is going to is going to succeed. So, you know, think about it in those three three things. There might be more, but really, we've got 30 to 40 seconds to just grab our attention and ask and 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 have us say, "Wow, tell me more." Other questions? Just one over here. About not being in the right space. So if I have an idea about social entrepreneurship, is it still a good idea to present to you guys just to get connections? I think it's not. So why don't we do some research of um, people that are interested in those spaces? And I would also do research not only on the firm, but on the individual that you're going to be presenting to. Because if they are knowledgeable, they're not only going to be able to give you great feedback, but they're going to be able to make the right introductions. If someone came to me with a clean tech company, I don't know where, the, where to point them to. So it's going to be tough. And it's, it's going to be somewhat of a waste of time for the entrepreneur and a waste of time for the investor. So I'd rather focus on those guys that have expertise in your area. I, I actually take a little bit of a different approach. Um, I, I wouldn't reach out and ask for an hour of someone's time, but if you're at an event like this or at a, at a networking event and you bump into a VC, have your have your value prop, have your your thirty second elevator pitch down, and that person may be able to connect you or point you to someone that he or she knows. So it, it never hurts to ask. It never hurts to talk about what you're doing, ask for feedback, ask for help, especially in events like this where we're all here to help you. Out. I think the best is to um, contact through some mutual connection any of the venture attorney and do a fifteen to twenty minute call on the phone and just quickly describe what you do, and, and then they can either give you feedback or something. Most of us that have been in the venture business know of others that do stuff. So we can easily point you to the right sets of people. I'm sure that you guys get wonderful presentations, by the way, and Vivek have used your product in the past, like 10 years ago. You bought some beautiful cobalt Thank you. machines there. Um, what are some of the best ways to get the attention of a, a venture capitalist, angel, or across that, that whole spectrum? Um, I'm sure you guys get hundreds, if not thousands, of business plans. It must just melt your brain to try to analyze all of these things. How do you get? How, what's the best way for an entrepreneur, maybe an alternative channel, to get a, a, a message across that will grab your attention to get to that next stage? Get introduction through someone that we know, someone that we know and that we trust. That's number one. And then, you know, a blurb on the company. That's no more than one page that we don't have to scroll on the email. You know, we all, every, all of you guys, we all get hundreds of emails a day. Have something that clearly articulates the value proposition, proposition in one paragraph. That's the best way. And follow up. Yeah, that's it. And if you can show some early traction, some happy customers, you're solving a problem, that also creates a huge value when you're talking to investors. Just say, even if you don't have like, hundreds of customers, you have five customers that are using your product, that are happy and the investors can talk to, that's a great proof point. Okay. We have time for one more question. Uh, we are working on a B2B uh, uh, web application solution, so uh, we are putting our own money and building this one, so what's your recommendation, uh, how long we should do that, because uh, going to VCR Angel in the beginning, uh, we may lose uh, a share of what we so. Should you advise go now or wait? And when you have uh, customers in revenue, go back to it. And also, we're looking for Java and UI guys. Anybody interested? Talk to me. <laughs> That's a pretty broad question that probably only you can you can answer. We, I, I, I personally can't answer that specifically by saying you should wait 30 days, 60 days. But you know, yeah, speaking generalizations, you know, maybe get get some of the team together, get a prototype that people can look at and play with. And Maybe it's a demo or a wireframe or something like that. And to the extent that you can get one or two, maybe three or four customers excited about the concept to whom angels or potential investors can talk, then you probably have a better chance of, of securing financing. Um, there are always stages of financing, too. That you, can, you can talk about self-financing. You can talk about friends and family. Friends and family will probably do less work and more bet on you and your team. Angels, specifically angels that you don't necessarily know, those will probably do a little bit more yeah, I, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. I, I think a lot depends on the kind of company you're building. And 
I, I think people need to analyze the kind of company you want to build and then realize who the right source of capital are. Because I would say 99% of businesses in the United States don't get venture money and they're incredibly successful businesses. It's just their family run businesses or their lifestyle businesses or others. Uh, venture, most of us, I, I would suspect, um, look at companies that can get to 100 million plus and grow. So you will not get our attention if it's a $10 million potential company. So you, you waste your time mostly by spending a lot of frustrating time talking to us and we keep saying no, we, we are not the right source of capital. You may be better off friends and family or other angels that would be more than happy to have a $20 million exit because that's the right thing to do. Good, thank you guys, thanks very much. All the entrepreneurs who presented, uh, raise your hand. Can I get you guys to just step over here on the stage and we'll announce the winner, just come on up. While they're coming up, how about a round of applause for the great feedback. And also, a nice round of applause for the entrepreneurs who have the guts to get up here. to get up and do this. It's absolutely true. Uh, your photos will, will be on our website, so smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the audience for coming and participating in this event. I hope it was useful. If it was or wasn't, we'd love to hear about why or why not on the feedback form so we can improve this for next time. Uh, and thank you to the Thai staff who, as always, does a remarkable job uh, staying late and feeding us and taking care of us. Um, with that, the panel has convened and they determined that the best pitch of the evening who will be invited to this Monday screening meeting at Thai Angels is What's Up? All right, thanks very much everyone. Come see me afterwards and good night to everyone.